I'm here to talk to you about the future, the future of great tits. Let's take a look. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> That's a bird, Kim, a bird. I still want to look at it. Great tits are uh, yellow and black songbirds found in the UK and the Netherlands. I imagine myself in the future writing to YouTube because it's gonna say this was demonetized due to adult <laughs> themes. And I'll be like, we were talking about birds, you, not breasts. You heathens. And the mere mention of breasts shouldn't upset you this much. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> great tits are evolving into greater tits. No, <laughs> their beaks are getting longer. Um, and what they found, Lewis Bergen, an evolutionary biologist at the University of East Anglia in the United Kingdom, was talking to his colleagues about noticing how tits are changing in the UK, um, namely their beaks are getting longer. You can read into that how you will. Mm -hmm. Brett is doing it now. It's the, uh, the areola of the bird, really. Uh -huh. More the nibble of the bird. You're the going, tent. now you're gonna get this video demonetized. No, I'm sorry, I that's have just a talking anatomy. Protect. I'm talking anatomy. Okay, if I think you can say breasts. Breasts. <laughs> but we are talking about harder. tits specifically. Um, after examining thousands of DNA sequences, researchers started noticing that something was changing in the genetic code typically associated with face shape, in humans at least, as well in areas associated with beak shape in Darwin's finches, which helped form the um, evolution theory that he had, and I say theory in a scientific way, just to be clear, um, which was the subject of these studies before. And they found evidence of rapid recent selection for longer beaks in the UK, uh, in the UK population at least. Um, it looked like the birds with the longer beak gene variants uh, fledged more chicks on average. And this may be due to automatic bird feeders in the UK. Really? Yes. So the birds that have the longer beaks are able to drink more nectar. No, those you're thinking of hummingbirds. I'm these an are, idiot. These are tits, and they're eating out of bird fingers that bird feeders that perhaps need a longer That's what I mean. beak to get to them. Is it not nectar? Is it like seed? I think it's seed. So they get more seed. Mm -hmm. The tits are full of more seed because their beaks are longer. The beak part doesn't fit my metaphor as much, but yes, that's cool. <laughs> That's so interesting. We do. We're, they're not really sure what is causing the the changes in populations, but it appears to be uh, related, or at least this is an, a common factor, as the bird feeders in the UK as opposed to the Netherlands uh, groups. You'd have to like com, You'd have to link fledging of more chicks, mm -hmm. probably to just overall healthiness as a result of access to more food. Mm -hmm. It's not like, and then it. It's because the fledging of more chicks is the weird part to me. It's like, wouldn't it be that the ones with the longer beaks are considered more desirable because they're healthier? Period, and then they get they get it all could the be. other the tits mate with those ones. But uh, it's interesting if if they just are like, oh God, I ate all the food I wanted to, so I can put up more energy toward fledging more chicks. Yeah, but That's there's nice. more uh, long beak tit chicks because maybe they're healthier. That's awesome. Perhaps as well. There's there's a few different theories as to why this is happening. Um, it also looks like uh, that if the bird's beaks are elongating, then they would also be experiencing changes to their skulls as well as the uh, keratinous sheath that covers their beak. You pervert! <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the grossest thing I've heard all segment. Keratinous sheath. <laughs> Gross. Demonetize. Let's talk about tit chicks instead. <laughs> yes, thank you. Science is back. Sorry, everyone. Um, so in conclusion, it looks like perhaps this isn't the be all end all, but it is a possibility that humans are shaping the future of great tits. Audience, let's talk about evolution in the comments and just that. Uh, please do that and <laughs> like and subscribe for more.